Hi and welcome or welcome back to this Friday's 5 minute consult with your favorite family medicine doc. In these videos I discuss everything that you need to know about the most common health conditions listed from A to Z and today's topic starts with the letter B. Bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. So let's talk about bronchitis. First off, what is it? Bronchitis is the medical term that literally translates to inflammation of the bronchioles. It's when the tubes in your lungs that are responsible for carrying air become swollen or inflamed and they can produce mucus which then produces a nagging cough. There are two types of bronchitis, chronic bronchitis which is a long term form of a bronchitis you may have heard of conditions such as COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder and then there is acute bronchitis which just means that it lasts for a shorter period of time and typically resolves within a few weeks. What are the symptoms? Because of the mucus and inflammation of the air tubes of your lungs, bronchitis can cause a cough. It can also cause a lot of congestion, a feeling of mucus stuck in your chest, or a feeling of wanting to cough up the mucus. That mucus can be clear, white, green, or yellow. Sometimes bronchitis can cause a feeling of shortness of breath. You may notice wheezing or whistling sounds as you breathe, and that's a result of the air trying to pass through your mucus. Other symptoms of bronchitis can include sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, low grade fever or chills, and body aches. What is the cause? Acute bronchitis is caused by either a viral infection or it can be caused by a bacterial infection. However, 95% of the cases are typically caused by a viral infection. Just a quick side note on the difference between viral versus bacterial infections. Bacterial infections do require antibiotics to treat them, whereas viral infections do not respond to antibiotics and have to run their course. Other causes of bronchitis that are not bacterial or viral infections can include irritation to the lungs, such as breathing in chemicals, fumes, or dust over time. Smoking or even being exposed to secondhand smoke can contribute to bronchitis. I would like you to be aware that you do have a higher chance of contracting either type of bronchitis if you smoke, have asthma or allergies, have a weaker immune system from other chronic diseases, or you have a family history of lung disease. If you are experiencing symptoms of bronchitis, when should you call your doctor? The answer is, if your cough is bringing up mucus that contains blood, if your cough is keeping you up at night, if the cough is lasting longer than three full weeks, also if you are experiencing chest pain or shortness of breath, unexplained weight loss, or a barking sound with your cough that makes it hard to speak. Diagnosis. If you are going to see your doctor about concerns of bronchitis, your doctor is going to take your vital signs, make sure you don't have a fever. They are going to listen to your lungs and listen for any of those wheezing sounds. And finally, they may take a chest x-ray to rule out any type of pneumonia. What is the treatment? Like we said earlier, 95% of the cases of acute bronchitis are due to a viral infection, meaning antibiotics will not work on these infections. Therefore, the main treatment for acute viral bronchitis is something called supportive care. This includes encouraging the patient to drink more water. Drinking more water, especially up to 8 to 12 glasses a day, can help reduce or thin out your mucus. You also want to be getting plenty of rest, as it is vital for your immune system to repair and regenerate itself during sleep to help fight off this viral infection. If you are not feeling the best due to low-grade fever or body aches, you can take an over-the-counter pain medications such as Tylenol or ibuprofen. Sometimes a humidifier or steam from a hot shower can help with your breathing and help loosen thick mucus. And you can take something called an expectorant, which you can get over the counter. It is known as guafenicin, marketed typically as mucinex, which works really well for bronchitis symptoms. I typically recommend mucinex D for my patients as it also contains a decongestion. Other over-the-counter medications such as cough medications can work as well. The viral infection that you have will run its course and typically get better within 10 to 14 days. You may notice a cough that is lingering a little longer than that, but your overall other symptoms are much improved. Like we talked about earlier, if your symptoms are lasting greater than three weeks, this may be an indication that you do have a bacterial infection causing your bronchitis. 
and therefore it would be an appropriate time to see your doctor about starting antibiotics to help treat your infection. Sometimes your doctor may prescribe an inhaler which helps open up your airways to help you breathe, or depending on the severity, they may also offer you a short course of oral steroids to help reduce the inflammation in your bronchioles as well. And that wraps up our discussion today on bronchitis, specifically acute bronchitis. If you have any other questions, make sure you comment them below and I would be happy to answer them for you. If you would like to see more of these educational videos on the most common health conditions listed from A to Z, be sure to subscribe as I am putting out new videos every Friday and I will see you on the next video. Until next time, bye!